This is a super weird issue we came across this time and I can't wait to tell you all about it. It's still work in progress and a bit of R&D and some other uh, measures have been, uh, you know, taken in order to make everything work. But basically today was really bizarre. Good morning everyone. So yesterday was a very busy day. And I have to tell you that building the world's fastest temporary network also encompasses building the commodity network for booths that require nothing more than a one gig uplink connection, right? So yesterday, when we were starting our day, we started getting tickets about the commodity one gig internet connections mostly not working. Not all of them, but the number was quite significant. So what we did, we just started diagnosing, right? First we thought that, you know, fiber is at fault. Because typically what happens, we have those DNOC booths that are basically um, distributing the fiber from switches directly to booths. The fiber is being laid out directly. And the booths have their own small switch that takes the fiber and then basically converts it to either uh, another fiber or just, you know, typical copper ethernet cable. So at first we thought that the fiber is at, is at fault here because the uplink connection to the switch that was being used in booths flapped every few seconds. At this point we knew that there was like multi-booth problem. So we were running around between booths and at first we thought maybe that's a single faulty switch that's being used as an endpoint to the fiber. So we started swapping those out and in some cases it worked and in some cases it didn't, right? And we had those brand new, right? The funny thing is, Signet has been using the, the, this types of switches, this certain model and brand of switches like for the past few years I think, I mean definitely they've been using it last year. So we started digging even further. We started to check, you know, maybe the switches in the Dinox are at fault, right? We have like multiple uh, vendors like available, right? We have uh, Cisco switches like Nexus 9K, we have Arista switches, we have Nokia Astro Linux switches, we have Juniper QFX switches, right? And funny thing is, only Cisco was working, was able to keep the link up constantly. And this maybe this is maybe the time I show and tell you about the switch, or maybe maybe I already cut that, or maybe I already showed you that earlier in the video. But this is some sort of weird Chinese cheap switch. And for some reason. It just can't work, right? Like, it cannot keep the connection established, they link up uh, with anything other than a Cisco. Have in mind that we also have a lot of optics available. So we also tested optics, different optics, different brands. Everything was tested, like pretty much all possible scenarios uh, were covered. This was late night yesterday because, you know, this was during the day, we were like kind of oblivious to the problem or maybe we, we didn't think that it is possible on such a large scale to be happening even. I don't know, at 6 p.m. we decided we need some extra Cisco switches installed in the Dinox, reconfigured, have their configuration basically moved from the connections that were not working to the ones, to the, to the Cisco switches. Then everything had to be replugged in the Dinox. And then also everything had to be verified. And we also have an automation done via Cisco NSO so this was a mix and match of basically a lot of manual work and automation being done on the very last second. I think at 10 p.m. we left. We were done. If anything, this is a warning to you. Do not buy cheap Chinese uh, unmanaged switches because they fucking suck. That's it for the update for now. Uh, like I mentioned in my previous video, if you have any questions you would like to ask, uh, not, so, not only me, but people at the supercomputing conference. Maybe you want to ask some vendor a question that you weren't able to before. Maybe you're interested in something. Definitely write a comment and maybe I won't be able, able to tell you or respond to you. But 
there are people and there will be people here that will be able to and I'll try to get them to do that. Having said that, I hope you have a lovely day. So with that, bye!